Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a completely new show. This is Mahoka Koko no Yuto Se. Now, uh, like I reacted to Mahoka Koko no Reto Se uh, season 2 uh, because unfortunately like I started uh, like you know uh, YouTube uh, doing YouTube video a bit late. So Mahoka Koko no Reto Se season 1 had already been ended and I've already watched it. So like I reacted to season 2 and uh like after that i've like you know this came out uh this yuto say has is coming out now and i'm sure we'll get some new like you know season for the original uh anime like you know season three and this is a spin-off as far as i know this one and as far as i know this is uh, something that we're going to see from the eyes of miyuki and i'm quite interested as to how they're going to do that because like it's basically going to be the same story isn't it so we're, we're going to like uh, look at everything through miyuki's view i'm guessing maybe we're going to see more of his her interaction with her classmates and how like you know we're probably going to be able to actually see how different like tatsuya and miyuki's experiences were like like tatsuya was a weed and uh, miyuki was a blue so how like you know how people kind of actually like interacted with them differently and all because in the beginning it was really like you know the whole discrimination between uh the two thing the blooms and the weeds were a bit too much as, as time went on in season two it was really less it, it became really less it starts to have got more friends and he kind of you know showed himself how he ca how capable he was uh like the, the discrimination kind of uh, became a lot reduced but in the beginning it, it was there it was, there's a lot of discrimination so we're probably going to see all of those stuff you know and uh, i'm looking forward to this and also another thing uh, it's as i said it's been a while that i've watched season two and also season one so a few things i probably might have forgotten like after seeing everything i it, my memory will get refreshed and a few names i also probably forgot so it'll take a little bit of time one or two episodes for me to actually get accustomed to everything so yeah so anyways uh let's get started this is mahoka koko no yutase episode number one so yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here to sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. Whoa, started with a fire okay what is this some kind of mall department store oh there you go that's Miyuki <laughs> they're not showing her face that's Miyuki isn't it yeah, that's Miyuki's voice. I think the animation studio is different, isn't it? I I'll have to check it out after this ends. Episode one, I'll cherish this for the rest of my life. Oh, damn. <laughs> God. Oh, yeah, this is that scene, uh, in the, I think, in, in the first season. Yeah, it's from season one. One thing I can see the difference is a change of art style. It's kind of long. Okay, it's interesting. We're actually hearing her her thoughts. We're not accustomed to this. I think Tasha looked better in the uh, previous art style. It looks kind of. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay, man. All right. Oh, we did not see this in the original anime, I think. Or, or did we? Yeah, the face is kind of long, like comparing it to the other ass style. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ah, there you go. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if anyone is watching this first and have still not watched Mahakako Kono Retose. A month. <laughs> he's like, uh. <laughs> wow, this is like a whole gallery behind them. <laughs> okay. Wicked thoughts. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> the way she eats, it's so refined. Like, obviously, she, she's like uh, Ojo sama. So. Damn. Whoa. Because they came, I think. New <laughs> Wow, imagine. Like, you know, like just free advertising. <laughs> free advertising. So that they, they are here like yeah yeah they keep keep them here for a little bit <laughs> this, is, this is a free you know like a free service there you go oh my god ah, it's free don't worry <laughs> oh my god Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yes! Stonks! <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Oh my god, people are going to come. Yeah, <laughs> more people are going to come. <laughs> oh god. Uh. Oh wow. Hmm. 
Nani, what's the matter? Okay. Um, um, I, I don't think that's what he's trying to do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, is this is a. Yeah, this is a thing that she usually wears. So this is where it comes from. <laughs> yeah, it, it fits. Like she she uses eyes, and it's kind of like a little ornament that looks like eyes. Because he uses eyes, I think. Most probably. What? Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh. Who is this? Oh, damn. Terrorist or something like that. Oh, this is a guy who most probably, uh, like, you know, makes a fire in the Batman store or whatever. You know? Okay. Okay, so this is when the fire breaks out or something. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I forgot his name, the butler's name. Hayama, okay. Oh, political hassle. All right. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, it's DF. Art copies. Oh, there is a guy. Oscillation type. Okay. Hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. 
he, he could have just uh, I don't know like like he could have just warned them in phone like say that like oh there you go no damn Yeah. Malfunction due to heat. Yeah, that's where she yeah, yeah steps up. Oh god. Well. Oh, she she's using her CAD. But she's pretty strong. She can easily like, like you know, defeat this guy. She's pretty damn strong. Like almost. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. It's like a blow of wind. <laughs> yeah, you're going to jail. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> Okay. Oh no! Um... Whoa! Okay. Oh my... What? Wait, what? <laughs> She's like, oh, please wait. I have some trash to, like, you know, <laughs> clean. I'm guessing that bag was probably given to her by Tatsuya. Uh, <laughs> well, you messed up, dude. Yeah, I'm sure that's something given by Tatsuya to her. Oh! Oh, wait a minute! Oh, the ornament was inside that! I forgot! Okay, okay! Wait, you don't have any bullets in it? Oh, okay, that's why. Mm, yes! Fool, know your place. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, there you go. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah wait what wait did she, did he buy another one or something oh okay okay she used <laughs> okay he used his power okay i was thinking like how did he Okay. No, oh, this is anti measure. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, here we go. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, well. Hmm. Okay, I'm starting the school now, I'm guessing. First day. So this So this is what happened uh before Oh, oh my god, they they already <laughs> Okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is where it starts. Ah, there you go, Honoka. That was Honeymoon's Honoka, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that says, uh... Ah. <sighs> Yeah, she he's a weed, yeah. Yeah, the honor student and the <laughs> Okay, is this the opening or the ending? I think it's the ending or is it the opening? Honest, honest student at the Magic High School. Oh, we have a few new characters I can see. I think this is the opening. Mm, this is most probably the opening.
This girl, this is a new new character, isn't it? Or this girl, another I think this this another new character. So when we were following Tatsu, we did not see them. These characters, I'm guessing. Yeah, she she's a new character, most probably. Is that the end? Yes, that's the end. All right. Um. <clears throat> so this was the first episode. Now, uh, as I said, like uh, we're going to see the actual, uh, you know, discrimination that actually, like when we were like following Tatsu in his journey in Mahaka Koko no Reto, say, we see how, like you know, how he handled different stuff, how the you know people used to ad not admonish but kind of like you know like treat him as a weed and the whole like you know dif discrimination between weeds and blooms all that stuff and we we, d we did not barely saw anything related to Miyuki at that moment but we we just saw everything through the eyes of Tatsu and this time we're going to see everything through the eyes of Miyuki and I have to say uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like you know, I'm sure most of the time we're going to see Miyuki kind of getting giddy about, like, you know, her Onisama. <laughs> like, I'm sure 50% of the dialogue, like, you know, what, like, you know, Miyuki will be thinking and everything will be about her Onisama. And, like, you know, that that's pretty obvious, like. <laughs> okay, one thing I need to check here. Um, the animation studio. Mm, just a sec. Uh, Mahoka Yutose. I'll, I'll have to check uh, both the like you know both Yutose and Retose both of them animation studio I'm, I'm sure they're different uh, like you know because the art style it's quite different I think okay um, <clears throat> just a second um, okay uh, Mahoka uh, Kokono Yutose is made by okay where is it Connect. What? Connect. What is that? I've never heard about the studio. <clears throat> okay. Uh, connect. So just a sec. Okay. Uh, the connect did strike the blood. Uh, Oresuki. That one, the one with, uh, okay, uh, Busoso the Machiavellism, Strike the Blood, and who, what else? Uh, these are the few things that they did, nothing much, but yeah, uh, as far as I can remember, the animation was okay for them, you know, nothing much to talk about, but it was kind of fine, and okay, so that was uh, Yuzose. Reto says season one was made by Madhouse. Okay, I, I did not know that. Madhouse did it. Okay, interesting. And the sequel that is season two was did by 8-bit. Okay. So, all right. Uh, like, obviously, like, we can see the difference. Like, both 8-bit and both Mad Madhouse is, like, really good. And 8-bit is also good. So, like, but I have no idea about Connect much. Uh, I, I, I think I saw Strike the Blood and... Uh, Oresuki I also saw, uh, Buso Shoujo Machiavellinism, that, that one I also saw. These are the few things that I saw uh, made by the studio and I feel as if uh, the animation was fine. Like, you know, no need to worry about it. And, <clears throat> alright, so yeah, that was it. So, alright, so, um, from, uh, like, you know, from animation standpoint, nothing much we saw here, but the art style, we can obviously see the differences the the art style is a bit long you know like like Miyuki's face a little bit longer uh Tasu's face is a little bit longer and it looks a little bit different not much but a little bit different and if i had to compare i i would say that i prefer uh like you know uh, reto says art style you know mahoka koko no reto says art style because Tasu and Miyuki looked quite different there and i i prefer that a little bit more than this and uh, especially Tatsuya, like, you know, Tatsuya looked really badass in <laughs> Mahoka Koko no uh, Retose. But here he looks kind of like a, I don't know, like 
a, a visual novel protagonist or something like that like you know <laughs> uh, but yeah it is fine nothing much nothing like you know n not much difference but there's a small little difference here uh, I'm, I'm sure i'm going to get used to it <clears throat> and uh, what else let's see okay so the first episode uh, as we saw like we are seeing everything from Miyuki's stand uh, like you know view uh, like point of view and as i said like you know i'm sure like 50 percent of Miyuki's dialogue will be about her own isama <laughs> and like you know how she's going to get giddy about him and all like that will be 50 percent of her dialogue and 50 percent will be something else and that i'm quite sure <laughs> but yes yeah, it's, it's quite <clears throat> like you know like it will take a little bit of time for me to get accustomed to actually hearing Miyuki's like you know inner voice like usually we were kind of seeing everything through Tatsuya's standpoint and Tatsuya barely like you know even thought about much thing like uh, like uh, in some points he kind of like had an inner voice when he used to think about strategies and stuff and like you know all that stuff but <clears throat> like you know in, in Miyuki's uh, like you know when we are seeing Miyuki here Miyuki is like whenever something like you know about her brother comes in she she's kind of like you know acting giddy in the inside and that inner voice we can also hear it so as I said that's why like it's a little bit unusual and it will also take a little bit of time for us to get accustomed to it one or two episodes and then it'll be normal like you know <laughs> because we know what Miyuki like it's interesting to see like whatever like we as we saw everything through Tatsuya's uh, like you know point of view uh, like Miyuki, like you know Miyuki, we, we were only able to guess stuff from Miyuki's expressions. Like you know when like she was would get happy, when she would get sad, all that stuff. And but now like we can see whatever she's thinking. Like you know, uh, we can hear whatever she's thinking, and like uh, we can also see how her expressions change and everything. So it's interesting. Like you know, like this is what actually had like whenever something is happening in in the same universe, and you're looking at everything to two person's point of view that's what actually happens we were like you know like now we are seeing Miyuki's part of the story how she like you know goes to school and what she uh, like you know is subjected to all that stuff and yeah <clears throat> so I'm sure like you know like, we're going to see a lot of things uh, which is like you know which we did not see in Mauka Koko no Reto Se because we follow Tatsuya at that moment and a lot of things we saw in Reto say we won't see here so it's kind of like a new thing for example this episode this episode showed us what happened before the first day you know like the whole thing that we saw and it, it was completely new like we I don't think we had something like this in Reto say yeah I, I don't think we had something like this so this is something completely new that we saw and <clears throat> like we got introduced to uh, uh, Maya her name was Maya, wasn't it? Uh, the the aunt, aunt, yeah, Maya. Uh, so we got introduced to Maya here in the, I think in the first episode only, which whereas in the in Reto, I don't think we got introduced to her so quickly. Uh, as I said, like it's been a while I've seen seen Reto season one, so it's like you know my memory is not that fresh, so I might make mistakes here and there. But yeah, like uh, I'm sure like, you know, they introduced her here because like everyone expects people who are going to watch this to have already seen Retose. Now, I wonder, you know, like maybe like, you know, maybe some person who has barely started anime, you know, like maybe it has been one or two months they have started anime and like, you know, they suddenly see this anime has come out and they get interested in it and they start with Yutose, you know, like it's, it'll be interesting, like uh, I wonder if there is someone like that, <laughs> like, you know, who starts with Yutose and then actually realizes that, oh, there, there was a pre, like, not a prequel, but another story to this, like, this is actually the side story, <laughs> spin-off, but yeah, anyways, that's something different, and, um, <clears throat> yeah, also, uh, what else, uh, let's see, let's see, Oh, uh, one thing, we kind of got to see uh, Tatsuya's point of view in this episode as well only one time, which is when he was uh, talking with the butler, the head butler, you know, like he went inside and they were actually con conversing and that was like Tatsuya's point of view. 
and like we get to know that like there's there's like a uh, arsonist in this place and he's going to be trouble and that's uh, decides to like you know like like runs outside trying to go trying to go back to nuke as soon as possible and uh, yeah and uh obviously Miyuki had like you know Miyuki is too strong like Miyuki like like a like ask the arsonist like like that he she won't he won't be able to do anything uh to Miyuki so <clears throat> it, it was fairly like you know like like nothing much to nothing but not much concern i had at that moment but when the little girl came in that was like this is the problem you know like uh, especially when you are um what do you call it like like you're one of the good guys uh you are very strong and suddenly like you know like uh someone comes in who can be a liable hostage and like that that is the moment when everything kind of gets messed up like even if you're too strong like a little mistake can be fatal for you and uh like you're trying to save the little girl and then suddenly like you know the guy like shoots you something like that and but obviously like Miyuki is <laughs> too strong and you cannot do you know much to like especially that guy that guy is like a nobody so like he was she was able to easily uh, suppress him and <clears throat> in the end everything went well another thing we got to see here is the actual origin of the not origin but actual uh, what do you call it um, where that hair ornament came from like this is another like interesting thing like i did not know that it was actually a gift from tatsuya and we can actually see here what happened uh, how she got like you know hold of that uh, hair ornament and uh, like you know like tatsuya gave it to her so that's another little like you know interesting point and i'm sure we're going to get more little interesting points like this which we'll be able to relate to from mahoka koko no retose like we like like we've seen mahoka koko no retose and if something like you know comes here some new information which actually has connections with retose we'll be able to actually like relate to it and that's another thing which is uh like you know in, like quite interesting we're going to get some little Mm, you know, little tidbits, little like uh, information, uh, fun facts about stuff, <laughs> and all those things. So yeah. Now you know what I thought they like before we started this, before I start like watch this first episode. I thought they're going to just like you know go uh, along the path of what happened in Retose, and they're going to just show it through the eyes of Miyuki, like. You know like whatever happened in retro season uh, episode one they're going to show that and but only like through the viewpoint of Miyuki. i thought it would be something like that but it's interesting to see that they have actually like you know included new like you know completely new things that were not shown in retro say and uh like you know for example this episode this episode is like a little uh prequel to uh, mahoka okoko no retro say episode number one like you know what happened before they actually went into the school and in the next episode, I'm guessing everything will be kind of similar to uh, Mahoka Koko no Retose episode number one, where we see the whole, like, you know, situation where, uh, like, we kind of saw a little bit, like, when uh, Miyuki gets mad and says that, like, this is, like, like preposterous, like, how the hell can they even make you a weed, where, whereas you have the most talent here, and, like, you know, like, she kind of gets angry, like, we saw that in Retose as well, it was in episode 1, and here we see it in episode 1, in the, almost in the end, so, in the next episode, I'm sure we're going to see more stuff which happened in episode 1, I can't remember what actually happened in Retose episode number 1, but as far as, far as I can remember, there was a whole, like, a, a big, like, a, a little fight kind of broke up, out, uh, between Honoka, uh, what was the other girl's name, Shizuku, wasn't it? Just a sec, the, the black haired girl, Shizuku, yeah, uh, Honoka and Shizuku, like they were kind of getting, uh, I don't know, like people were messing with them and Tatsuya can, kind of came and stopped that, like that whole situation, I'm sure that's going to happen, uh, probably in the next episode, so yeah, like I'm sure we're going to see more stuff like that and, <clears throat> like, you know, all that, all those things, so yeah okay one thing i kind of forgot just a sec um 
one thing I actually forgot is that uh, they have like they have different class, aren't they? Like I completely forgot about this. Uh, like the blooms and the weeds, they're divided by class, aren't they? I cannot remember at all. Like, like you know, that would mean that like like I can't even remember if like Miyuki was in Tatsuya's class. I don't think she was. So interesting, like most probably like, you know, like that's what I was actually trying to say here. Like we're going to see a lot of new scenes because we won't see ever anything happening in Tatsuya's class that way. We're going to see everything that's going to happen in Miyuki's class. So yeah, most probably. As I said, I cannot remember my, my memory is kind of groggy and uh, I can't even remember actually if I, I, I think they had different classes, Miyuki and Tatsuya. It was kind of uh, like, you know, uh, different. So yeah, we're going to see a lot of new things, that means, like you know, when uh, Miyuki goes to her class and she'll meet new characters and also we saw from the opening, I think that was the opening, most probably, uh, you know, from the opening we saw a few characters, uh, new characters, few new characters, there's this girl with, uh, a, with a yellow haired girl uh, and there's this another girl who had blue hair, I think these two characters are new most probably mm, just a sec oh we have not these two characters we have a few other characters who are new as well i think uh there's another girl i think i think we never saw her before uh the girl who's kind of wearing a headband a blue headband and has a brownish colored hair and that girl is also probably new so this is, these are the few new characters we're going to see i think so oh another thing i noticed they have a different uniform color wait a minute i did not notice that before yeah they, they have like a reddish red and black colored uniform and uh, obviously like miyuki and all like her friends have a different uniform so are there some kind of different school or something wait a minute i thought they were yeah most probably so th there's some part of a different school or something i'm not sure what it is but there will be something different, I guess. Okay, so obviously we're going to see everything in the next episode. No need to. I don't think much about it. But, yeah. So, yeah, that was it, guys. So that was the first episode. It was, it was a good episode. I enjoyed it. And it's going to be interesting, as I said, to actually see everything through Miyuki's uh, eyes. And how she, like, you know, how she thinks about stuff. And, uh, like, you know, um, all the other things so and we're also going to see her getting like you know flustered around her beloved onisama so <laughs> that's another thing and uh, yeah okay one thing just a sec <sighs> one thing i I, I noticed that in the opening there was a part there's there, where it was written David production and like so like the only studio that I see in my anime list like you know under which Mahoka Kokono Yuto say is is connect so does David production also have some kind of uh, like, like you know also have some kind of influence on this like let me know in the comments if you know like because i think yeah the, the, like during the opening or the ending whatever it was there was a portion where it was written david production like uh like david production obviously we know what david production is it's like jojo like they did jojo they did um uh fire force like they're amazing like their animations are amazing uh, especially jojo's animation and fire force's animation damn like those are some like you know like amazing stuff so like i'm i'm quite like you know i'm not sure like so that does that mean like obviously we can see like connect is the studio that is doing mahoka koko no yuto say so does that mean like there's another studio who's kind of like you know helping them or something that's why their name was there i don't know let me know in the comments if you know anything about that so yeah anyway so yeah guys that's it that was it that was my uh, reaction to uh, mahoka koko no yuto say episode number one so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know 
I'll check them out. So yeah, guys, uh, I'll see you guys next week, same time with another episode of Mahoka Kofono Yujose. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.